defense. I think I just cycle my evil Tesla here. Okay, I go with my drill, not bad. I go with goblins to keep my goblin demolisher safe. Bro, look at the goblin demolishers, dude. What is up guys, today I am going to be going over the videos that got me to top 10k in the world. I'm not entirely sure what exactly my rank is right now. Uh, I pushed last night, so I've probably gone down a couple, but I took a screenshot yesterday. Um, I'll upload it on the screen here. Top, I think I was like what, top 7k? Not entirely sure, but today's video, <clears throat> I'm going to be re-watching some of those games. And uh, just kind of going over my thought, press, thought process, what I could have done better, and uh, yeah, just go from there. Now this guy's gonna, this guy's playing, or this guy played with RG, and I knew in this matchup that uh, if I could survive single, I'd be very fine. This guy actually goes with a very aggressive fireball, but look how much damage he has, bro. Unfortunately, the Mother Witch did not lock on to my Goblin Demolisher, so he had the perfect start. Okay, he is up 600 damage right now, and I'm just thinking to myself, okay, you got a lot of damage here, let's not get too frustrated, um, I'll be fine. If I can get to double elixir, I think this will be good for me. Um, that being said, he does have the, the Skeleton King, um, which makes this pretty... I wouldn't say it wouldn't make it hard, but if he plays this right, he can definitely defend over and over again. But what you guys will notice in this match is that he really likes going with his Skeleton King in the back for the three card cycle, which is fine, but it actually made it so that I got a lot of damage with my drills. Okay, so this guy goes with a Skarmie. I remember thinking that was a pretty bad Skarmie because I could just go with a Goblin Demolisher and it kind of just takes out everything. I also got a bunch of damage with my drill because there, again, he didn't, he had no Skarmie in cycle as well as his Skeleton King. So got a lot of damage there and... You know, right now I was feeling pretty good. Uh, I was still d down 200 damage, but I had a feeling I'd be able to win this game. Okay. I go super aggressive here because um, my poison's going to get a huge amount of value. And whenever I started that push, I uh, had nothing, or he had no Skeleton King in cycle, which meant I knew I could do that. Okay. Here, I know he's going to pop his ability, so I just wait a second. I pop my ability. I also have my evil Tesla in cycle, which kind of saves me here. Okay, I thought I popped my ability. I'm not sure why I didn't now that I'm looking back. Definitely should have popped my ability, but it's fine. Gonna go with a log here, gonna go with my goblins. I still take no damage, but uh, I definitely should have popped my ability, which is fine. Okay, what do I do here? Okay, I'm just gonna go with my goblin demolisher. No need to take any chip damage. And then I'm gonna go with a high Tesla, because that fisherman was actually really bad. And I can cycle back to another Tesla by the time he gets to RG. This poison is ridiculous, by the way, because it kills the Mother Witch, gets damage on the tower, and hits Skeleton King. Nice. So, at this point, I'm pretty certain I've won, you know, because Double Elixir is just making this really easy. I can go, I can continue to just go in and in and in with my Goblin Drills, my poisons, and every time that I go in, I've been getting damage, and he has, he hasn't. So, he's gonna get, I think, two shots here. Um... But it really wasn't the end of the world. He also goes with the fireball, which is fine, okay? Honestly, I want him to go same lane because it makes it so I can continuously go in the same time, okay? Now, I knew he was going to try to be aggressive here, so I go with my drill here. I go with my goblins here and my, my ice spirit. My evil tesla is just so nice on defense, bro. I swear that card is ridiculous. Going to go with the goblin demolisher low. Let's see if he fireballs. I know he wants to, so I go with my mighty miner. Yeah, there's the fireball. Okay, I just go with a log, not bad. Demolisher on defense, bro, is crazy good. Gonna go with my Tesla here to kill the Mother Witch, and then I'm gonna go with my Evo, because he has no Skeleton King in cycle. He only has Skarmie and um, his guards, and I knew that, so I'm just gonna go in aggressively. Look how much damage I'm gonna get there from the, the Goblin Cage, bro. And then I could go to go with a high Goblin Demolisher, and bro, I knew this Goblin Demolisher would work, because the Fisherman's gonna pull it in, and boom. Easy first game, okay? Not bad. I think that put me around 19, 1965 trophies, somewhere like that. Alright guys, so yesterday I hopped into this next game against Red Flavor, and I didn't know it yet, but it was going to be um, Pekka Bridge Spam that I would be facing. 
I had actually lost to this deck earlier, so whenever I saw the zap, I was hoping it would be Pekka Bridge Spam because I really wanted to get my run back. So I'm just going to go with my log here. He used his zap, he also used his Electro Spirit. So just going to get some chip damage on the tower. Just going to go with my Goblin Demolisher in the back. Um, Goblin Demolisher is just so strong on defense. And uh, yeah, I just feel like it does it does way more than it should. Okay, I'm definitely going to poison this wizard though. Um, ever since that buff to the wizard health, poison actually doesn't kill the wizard, but it's fine. So I'm just going to go with my Tesla here. going to cycle to my Evo, and it full counters the Ram Rider plus the wizard. Um, so this is completely fine. I think he actually goes Pekka in the Brack here because I have no Tesla in cycle. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there's the Pekka in the back. I go Drill at the exact same time, which is good because it forces out an early um, Ghost. It's a lot easier to defend the Ghost whenever it's in front because I can just go with Mighty Miner. Whereas if the Ghost had been behind the Pekka, I would have had a. It would have been a lot harder, right? But it's all good here. I'm gonna go with my Mighty Miner, and then I'm gonna go with my Goblins. I see that he goes with that. He's also gonna go with his Evil Wizard, so a little scary. But my Mighty Miner does a lot of damage to his Pekka here. And then look, check out the Goblin Demolisher bow. He's gonna go with a Void on top of it, but like, the Goblin Demolisher on defense is just so good. I have to go with this as well as my Goblins. He gets one shot with the Wizard, not the end of the world. He is forced to ban it, which is fine. But uh. Then again, he kind of forces me to go with an awkward Mighty Miner. Okay. I'm hoping he goes Ghost here, but I don't think he does. I think he just goes with his um, Battle Ram, because he knows I have Drill. Yeah. So he goes with his Battle Ram. I can just go with my Evil Tesla. Evil Tesla will take care of that Ram Rider very nicely. And this is why I like cycling my Tesla so much, guys, because the Evil Tesla is so strong in defense, right? So I'm going to go with the Drill again. I know he's going to go with Ghost, so I try to go with the Ice Wizard. Hopefully I can get some chip damage. Nice, I get a little bit of chip damage with my Ghost, or, and my Ice Spirit. Um, so, I think I go Mighty Miner here. Yeah, gonna go with Mighty Miner here. I think I go with Mighty Miner here so I can start cycling my three cards for with the with the Teslas. The three, no, three card cycle's really, really nice. And then I just get a really nice log there, okay? My Goblins are, f are late, but because I had the three card cycle, I just cycled to another Tesla, and it was super, super easy defense there. I'm up like 1200 damage here so i feel pretty good i think i don't go in here because i don't want to go he already placed his pekka down and i'm thinking to myself if i can just defend this push um i'll be fine i'm glad i didn't go in there too because he would have had his ghost and his evo wizard so i'm just gonna I'm, i just cycle my log i also cycle my poison to get rid of that evo wizard basically just chip it down as much as i can I'm gonna go with another demolisher because he just went with void and then i'm gonna go with my evo tesla high Really good evil Tesla. It retargets the P.E.K.K.A. so it actually hits the goblins. And yeah, he just keeps on going with P.E.K.K.A. in the back. I'm completely fine with this at this point because every time he goes P.E.K.K.A. in the back, I get damage. Really weird wizard though by him because he's just giving me free poison value. So um, at this point, I know I'm about to get some damage because look, he's getting desperate. He's going with his he's going with his ghost at the bridge. Okay. He also wastes his evil zap plus his void at the same time. And bro, I mean, this is looking amazing. I'm definitely going to go in with my drill here. I'm thinking, okay, he has no ghost in cycle, right? So I'm just, I think I go with my drill soon. I, maybe after this play. Okay, I'm not, I don't really remember. I'm not sure. Okay, there's the drill, finally. And he goes peck at the back at the same time. I'm thinking, okay, this is really, really good, guys. I think I just take a poison here because really good. Yeah, he also wastes his evil wizard, which is perfect for me. I think I can just log and go with, or go with my Tesla. So yeah, I go with my Tesla. I think I go with my goblins in a second here. Okay, now I just, yep, okay. Not bad. Ice Spirit to stall the Ram Rider. Perfect, okay. And uh, I think I just cycle my logs. Look at the Goblin Demolisher bill hitting all of that. I'm back to another Goblin Demolisher. This is what I mean. You just can't get through the Goblin Demolisher row. It's so good on defense. I think I just cycle my Evil Tesla here. Okay, I go with my Drill. Not bad. I go with Goblins to keep my Goblin Demolisher safe. And bro, look at the Goblin Demolishers, dude. They're so annoying. They're so good on defense. Oh my gosh. And yeah, the Goblin Demolisher, bro. Just keeping everything at the bridge here. He cannot get through. I go with another drill. Go with the log to get some extra chip damage. And at this point, the game is over. And I've won. So basically perfect gameplay. He barely got any damage after like, I don't know. After double elixir time started. So <laughs> it's just awesome. It is just awesome.
Okay, at this point, guys, as you can see from my trophies, I was at 1,995 trophies, and I really just wanted to get to 2,000 trophies, okay, just for the just for the look of things, okay? I remember whenever I saw that Skeleton Barrel, I was thinking to myself, okay, this is probably a good matchup, okay? I have a bunch of cards that just do really well against bait. I have two spells. I have the Goblin Demolisher, and I've got the Mighty Miner Bomb, all right? Um, I go with the drill here just to kind of like see what he's playing with. Okay, and as soon as I see that Mega Knight, I'm thinking, okay, I'm definitely won this game. Um, as long as I survive single, I'll be fine. Because I knew it immediately, I knew immediately as soon as he played that Mega Knight, that if I can just um, stall until double, um, he won't be able to do anything about my Mega Knights. And uh, yeah, it'll just be a good time for me. So I'm forced to go with Goblins here in a second here, um, because I don't... Okay, never mind. I forgot. The Goblin Monster is just in cra crazy on defense, so <laughs> I do take a couple bit of damage there, but I know, again, if I can just survive to double, I will be fine. So I go with my Goblins here. I know that his next Zap will be his Evil Zap, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is... I just gotta be careful. I bait out the Mega Knight again. Yep, there's the Mega Knight, which is completely fine. Um, I know he's probably just gonna go with his Inferno Dragon, because that's what he did last time. So this time, I just go with my... Um, Tesla low, and then I go with a Mega Knight in front. And I really like going with the Tesla, or, or the Mega Knight low, because it forces the Mega Knight to jump closer. And then I go with Goblins to distract the Inferno Dragon. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, okay, maybe I should go with Goblin Demolisher here, but no, I'll be fine. I just go with a late log, and we are looking absolutely fine. I know he's up 500 damage here, but then again, guys, let me show you why this matchup is so good for me in double. Okay, just let me show you. All right, I have my Evo and Cycle here. He doesn't have his Mega Knight in cycle yet. So I'm going to go with my Demolisher in the back. Okay, I know he has his... Okay. Okay, he goes with a really aggressive push. I forced a poison, but honestly, super good defense by my end. Okay, he's going to go with his Inferno Dragon. That's not bad. I'm going to go with my um, Goblin Drill. Okay, and you might be thinking, why did you go with your Goblin Drill there, even though you didn't have your, Mega, uh, your Mighty Miner in cycle? Well, I knew that he would go with Mighty Miner. Or, yeah, his uh, Mega Knight. And I knew I'd be able to cycle back to my Mighty Miner, so um, that's exactly what I do here. I go with my Drill again, alright, I go with my thing, I pop my ability, and then I can just go with a Log. He actually wastes his Evo Zap, and dude, look at the Demolisher, gonna kill all of that. I can go with late Goblins for the Mega Knight, and then I have to go with a Demolisher. And at this point, it was a little sloppy, but the Evo's, I knew I had the Evo, um, whatchamacallit, and my evil tesla got so much value there, bro. Okay, I've caught up in damage a little bit. He's still up 400 damage, but I'm feeling pretty good here. He gives me a really bad Inferno Dragon, so I take the poison value for free. Okay, that's going to put me like 200 damage away. And then I go with the drill here. All right, I think I get one chip shot, which is huge. All those chip shots, guys, is will win me the game so i go like this i go with my goblins catch the miner really good plays all around right now i know i can just go with the mighty miner low now to, for the mega knight and the goblin demolisher is just doing good job splashing everything those spirit goblins are doing absolutely nothing I'm gonna go with my evo i think i go with an ice spirit here yeah ice spirit for the mega knight in case he goes in i just poison because i know he has to play something okay and even if he didn't place it on my um my uh my drill i knew he would have to play something for the goblin demolisher so in all it was a even elixir trade okay i'm definitely gonna pop my ability here yeah really nice ability really nice ice spirit really nice goblin demolisher and the defenses right now are just so good he can't do anything because he has to overcommit on my uh, mighty miner but as long as i pop my ability um i can just go in and uh just punish him for the overcommitments on my Mighty Miner. And it just makes the defense really, really easy. So I'm going to go with the Ice Spirit for the Inferno Dragon. I'm back to my Evil Tesla. Evil Tesla just doing Evil Tesla things. Going to go with a Log. Kills the Spear Goblins. And at this point, I know I've won. I can just go with Goblin Demolisher here. I love the Goblin Demolisher, bro. It's so strong. Um, I'm going to go with a Log here. He does, take a, uh, does get a lot of damage here, but he had no Elixir for my um, Goblin Drill because he went so hard on aggressive and at this point i think i call it a good game because my goblin drill is just gonna do so much damage here um there's nothing he can do about it and yeah super nice game right there definitely my matchup um 
I was really happy to get to 2,000 trophies. Okay, right now I'm at 2,025 trophies. Currently I am top 6K in the world. I guess top 7K. Um, but uh, yeah, it felt super good. And uh, honestly, it, I felt super glad to finally get here. Last season, I was just not happy with Clash. So I didn't really push up that much. But I can see myself pushing up this season. Anyways, guys, that's going to be a video for it today, guys. This deck is so strong, okay? Literally, un, like, you cannot... If, if you have perfect defense, it's like nothing can get through. The Goblin Monster, guys, is so broken. But you already knew that. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.